going on here? Man, that is one pretty tree he's got back here. Well, you guys, it is Monday morning. We are wrapping up our final cleanup of the year here, hopefully. Grass is growing wild and we need to get out cutting. So we got the grandstand ready to cut and our Z-Master is ready to dethatch and bag this yard. We'll be on our way into mowing season today. Super excited for that. And yeah, this enclosed trailer, guys, it's been working out awesome. We were on my open one last year. It's just so nice to have everything in one place. You can count on it being there to get the job done for you. And yeah, it's not out in the elements, getting exposed to all the rain and all the sunlight and just gonna keep everything looking nicer for longer. But I'll quit blabbing. Let's get into today's video. Jump on the Z-Master and start sucking up here. Okay, come back and turn it in this way. Wrong way. Follow it. All right, that'll work. This is how we do it. Uh, is the mailbox accessible? You might want to back up to the other one. Old Honda. Wheels are falling off this mower.
was out here doing the pressure washing, uh, package showed up. If any of you guys got guesses for what's inside here, uh, leave them in the comments below. No cheating and commenting after the video is done. I want to know uh, if anyone can guess this before I open this box. I'll give you a hint. It's for the tractor. All right, let's open it. It's a 12 volt fan. My tractor does not have air conditioning. Ooh, that'd be really nice. Well, if any of you guys are interested, I got these off of Amazon. I don't know, maybe I'll post them in the link down below, we'll see. Well guys, it is Tuesday. Looks like it's about uh, 10.39. We are on our, well, second day of mowing, technically? Yeah, still We're still on our first day's mowing route, but we're on our second day. Day number two. Mm -hmm. Finished the cleanups. Oh. Finally. Amen to that. Got down pre-emergent, everybody got done, except for two people that kind of came on late. The dandelions are popping. And uh, I just wanted to say something really quick in regards to that. So uh, if you're in the upper Midwest, like I'm in Minnesota, so the U of M recommends spraying uh, for dandelions for weeds on the three main holidays. So um, Memorial Day, 4th of July, and then Labor Day. It's an easy way to remember all three of them. Uh, you do need to be careful with the July one. If it is super hot around the 4th of July, do not spray while it's really hot. Um, pick like a morning to go out or something like that when the temps are a little bit cooler so you're not uh, roasting your yards out. But it is coming up on that now, so we're gonna be uh, putting down some broadleaf application here very shortly. Get her done. Aww. Well, got two side by side wrapped up. Looking really nice. Dandelions are out and they just keep popping up like rubber bands. So uh, I don't know if I need to resharpen my blades or what. But other than that, looks really good. Nice to be all cutting grass finally. It's probably the latest start to lawn mowing I think I've ever had. I've been at this for a while, so that says a little something. Let's get in the truck, get on to the next job. Well, I guess this is the episode where Zach gets a bunch of new toys. It's the Toro Time Master 30 inch. It's got the Briggs and Stratton. It's not the electric start, but these start really nice, so it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put it to work here. So I'm not sure, you'll have to kind of figure out where you like to run this thing. I'm guessing, I'm guessing E would be good. E is good. And then just, yeah, here, let's, let's try it out and see where it likes to run. <laughs>
Kettler's in the trailer going to the bathroom right now. Uh, we're moving. <laughs> Up now. Whatever. <laughs> well, more new toys. Anybody see them? Oh boy. Got that right. Mount this inverter. Let's see how this goes. I gotta move this over some. I'm doing exactly here so I don't know if I'd take my advice but um, so here's what we got going on mm -hmm. I got two deep cycle batteries here and my plan is to run a uh, solar panel on the roof of this trailer and then we'll run it on a trickle charger in here and it'll charge these batteries which will run this inverter which will charge our equipment and run our lights in here as well when we need those so for now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wire these two batteries together these two 12 volt batteries and then they will just run this inverter but to charge them I think I'm gonna get just a marine grade battery charger and onboard charger and I'll run the wire through this um, hole that I put in the trailer here so we'll just plug it in at night. So that's how that's gonna work. But I need to wire these two together really quick here, and then we'll see if this works. So I think to do, to keep these 12 volt, because we don't wanna switch it to 24, that would be bad. I think, I don't know. I might be doing this wrong, we'll see. I've never done this before, so it's all new. So we're gonna go positive to the positive. Not to the negative, like old uh, Steve Martin in the Pink Panther. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reverses it. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> so this is going to go to the positive on the back battery. And that's connected to the inverter? Yep, so this is connected to the inverter. So this is just making this one big 12 volt battery. Okay. And then this should charge our stuff. And I gotta figure out too how to get these to stay in place. So I'm gonna have to maybe build a battery rack or yeah, we'll figure that out, I guess. Probably just screw a board to the, right in front of them. Yeah, you could probably just screw some boards around it. So that way they're not sliding around and then I mean, if you really want to get crazy, you could probably put an eye bolt in there and just bungee cord over the top. Mm -hmm. But I just want to see if this is going to work first. So then I got this other, where's my other, oh, it's right here. So this will just tie this. And hopefully it works. Okay, yep, we're not gonna die. That's good. So these are tied negative to negative. Oh, and then this is gonna go on this battery, the front battery. So the positive went on the back one. So it should complete the circuit here. We should be good. And then, yeah, we'll see if this works. It 
works. We got power. Yeah. Sweet. 12.6 volts. And then, yeah, so we'll just hook up the onboard chip. So this will be plugged in. This is my, to my uh, splitter here. And then, yeah, we'll just run the onboard cord through here, mount it right here or somewhere up in here. And, uh, yeah, we should have power out here. Sweet. Oh. Okay. It's charging my trimmer battery. Sweet. There you go. Now I can use my electric trimmer instead of my gas one. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I like it. We're learning. We're learning. Okay. But yeah, that'll be nice, especially if we can get the solar panel up on the roof. So if you guys have used a solar panel before, uh, leave it in the comments below because I'd like to get one for the roof of this. Something reasonable, probably not more than two, three hundred bucks or something. Good. Kind of got a lot of money into this setup so far. Yeah. It should pay off though, because like we the gas that we saved alone last year running that electric trimmer mm -hmm. i mean it was pretty unreal like you noticed it yeah we were hardly in the summer we were hardly ever filling up mm -hmm. like you want to switch to that electric blower too for just blowing off the driveway quick yeah i mean it'd be a no-brainer we'd be set up and just mm -hmm. running on the sun mm -hmm. that'd be awesome work for me there you go